junk journaling daily is attainable if that's your goal. In this video, I'm sharing the first four days of my December daily junk journal entries with the hopes that by sharing my process and insights, it will inspire you to journal more. Before I share my tips, let's take a step back for those who don't know what December Daily is. Created by Ali Edwards, December Daily is a creative journaling exercise where you journal every day in December. Unlike last year when I participated in this exercise, I decided to create prompts for 1134 Press so that you can journal with me as well this month. We have a growing community of people participating and sharing in our Facebook group, so if you'd like to join in, more information is in the description below. If you're new to this channel, my name is Brie from 1134 Press, where we share bookmaking, journaling, and papercraft inspiration to help you document your life. And my first tip for daily journaling is to use prompts. The prompts for our junk journal challenge are vague by design. Ambiguity ignites creativity because your mind goes into problem-solving mode to fill in the gaps. For instance, the first prompt in our challenge was winter greens. What does that mean? What does that mean to you? How can you respond to this idea with the materials and tools in front of you? One of my favorite things about junk journaling is the element of improvisation. If you approach each prompt with an open and free mind, you'll be surprised by how easy it is to fill multiple pages. My second tip for daily journaling is to keep it simple. Everyone has their own idea of what simple is, but if I were to define it, it would mean to create in your comfort zone. Repeat layouts and layering techniques that you are familiar with. Reach for materials that are nearest to you. Create and write the things that come the most natural to you. We avoid things, big or small, that will cause us even the slightest bit of discomfort. Get rid of any of those roadblocks that will stop you from collaging in a page. The outcome doesn't matter. What does matter is the process of doing it and that you are present in the moment. My third tip for daily journaling, which will probably be an unpopular one, is to clean up your space. My desk isn't always spotless, and after I'm finished a page, it definitely looks like a paper factory exploded, but I find that having a relatively tidy space is inviting. It gives me room to make more mess, new mess. My cleanup routine typically happens before I start journaling, and I like to keep baskets on my desk for paper scraps that I want to keep and tools that I frequently grab. Other materials that I don't use as frequently also have simple homes that are nearby. Cleaning up is easy for me because I make sure that my storage systems are close by and simple.
My fourth tip is to remind yourself of why you are journaling. Why is it important to you to keep record and create personal art? It's hard to be motivated to do anything if you don't have a purpose. At the top level, I journal because I want to leave a record of my life for my future family. I suppose I feel this way because there's so much about my own family and older generations that I wish I knew. Who knows if my children and their children and their children's children will care or even grieve the loss of generational wisdom that I feel, but I want them to have the choice if they feel inclined. At a more central level, I journal because it makes me feel good. It feels good to create something from nothing. It feels good to make decisions and build. It feels good to get my thoughts out and observations onto the page. Figure out what's driving you to approach the page and it will inspire you to keep journaling for the rest of your life. Thank you so much for watching and join us this December for the December Daily Junk Journal Challenge. Seeing everyone's work in the Facebook group is making this holiday season the best one yet. See you in the next video.